Kareng, who is 0 for 3, has yet to been on, be on base. In fact, I think he's the only one who hasn't touched first base today. Comes up. Popped up, back and foul for strike one. Been a real close game, but nonetheless, lots of action. He's going to take a spit. Okay. Strike two, 0 and 2 to Kerrang. The pitch. Little whiffer over to the right side. Ocampo going to make the play. Gloves it. Kerrang's on with a single fine line. It was going to be a tricky play when he hit it because it had a lot of spin from the top of the bat. And his steal comes up. The pitch to steal. Little blind drive to the left side. McDonald couldn't make the play. Throw to second, out at second, but Ernie Steele's on with a single. We're right back where we started. Hello. Maria Luna, who's been the second solo shot of the day, checks in. She's two for three. Uh, she'll take strike one, swinging at a horrible pitch, but... Yvonne Carter's thrown a couple of trick pitches throughout this day. You just never know. Drilled to the right side. That's going to fall into play. The throw to second, Ernie's going to hold. And now there's two on with one out. With Keisha Phillips coming up. Keisha Phillips, one for three. Still kind of having that sluggish time at the plate. Drilled hard. That's gone! A home run to the left field wall! And Keisha answers with the sluggish remark that I just made. And is guaranteed probably the Bombers victory in Game 1 of the Divisional Series. As now it's 5-1 to one Bombers. And let me just say this right now. If you didn't notice on camera, that was a line drive smack. That was not a power. That was a line drive smack. Angela Del Vecchio comes up to the plate. She's looking to increase the lead. She's also two for three today. Head hard to left field. That one without a doubt. And that one's gone. Two straight home runs back to back. And Angela has increased the score to six to one. 362 went 14 feet farther than her previous solo shot in the second. 6 to 1 and adding insult to injury, the Marlins. And with only one out, here comes Jacinda Smith. And we know Jacinda hasn't really shown it, but she can pack a, quite a hit if she can hit it just right. Take strike one, swinging at a low one now, and that's L one. Bottom of the seventh, and the Bombers have just, no pun intended, exploded with two back-to-back -back home runs, increasing the score. Take strike two, swinging. One and two to Jacinda. And Yvonne's done. Carlos Ocampo, the previous catcher comes up to the plate. So a little roll reversal and Ocampo with one pitch gets Jacinda. Amir Khan who's had a slow start but still lots of energy comes up to the plate. Oh that one's drilled hard. This one may have another chance. It could Home run for Amir Khan! Three home runs and within four batters. I'm sorry, within five batters. 60% of the inning so far has been home runs. And Amir tags onto the board. 
And just like that, it's seven to one. Stephanie Morgan comes up to the plane. Two for three today, I said a couple singles. Stephanie Morgan doesn't pack a lot of power, but I guarantee you, she plays with a lot of heart and passion, and she'll she'll hit a couple of dingers every now and then. She'll foul that one back behind the plate, 0-1. Oh, one. The pitch. Drilled over to the left side. Nice catch by the third baseman to end the inning. Five home, or I'm sorry, five runs in the bottom of the seventh have made this a six-run lead for the Marlins. And with two innings for them left, six outs, they really have to get something going. Emily Lubell checks up. She's going to try to be the first. She drills it hard to the right side. Over to Ahmed Khan. Couldn't make the play. Throw to second. Couldn't make the play, but holds Lou Bell to a single. Well, the adrenaline, adrenaline for the Marlins is starting to kick in now, so we're going to be seeing some crazy hits here. I expect in the next six outs from these guys. Swung on and missed by Yvonne. Swung way early. And the pitch. Ball. Wild pitch. The pitch to Carter. Strike two in there. One and two with one on. No outs in the top of the eighth. Angela's pitch looking for K number ten. I'm sorry, nine. Not going to get it. Nice catch by Angela with the quick flick the first. Not in time. Bluebell stays on. Dana Sakula, one for two today, comes up. The pitch from Angela to Sakula. Little blooper over to the left side. Angela again with another impressive diving catch out. And I think Lubell thought it was going to drop. She was almost halfway to second. PJ Sharif, who has had a tough time getting to first, on for the Marlins. They'll take strike one swinging. Oh, one. Well, it looks like Angela keeping her pitch count low as she deals another strike to Sharif. Well, more than likely. Well, more than likely pitch the ninth inning. The pitch. Popped up. Uh, uh, okay. Um, okay, so I'm trying to process what happened. So the ball was popped up, right? The ball was popped up. Ball was popped up in the air. Went over Angela and Stephanie who were colliding. Bounced into Maria's glove and she was, since she was standing on the bag, she must have had like a couple of inches between her and Lubell. And Lubell got out anyway. So that was a very anticlimactic out.